I'm with Coach Thompson. Coach, this close game the entire time. How did the team handle the full court press? Well, obviously we handled it well. You know, we only had five turnovers at half, and uh, I don't think that had any impact on the game. I thought our guys did really well. I think what we didn't do in the second half is guard the way we did in the first half. But they made some big, tough shots that uh, were timely for their part. But, uh, you know, you never take anything positive away from a, a loss because we played a win. Uh, but our guys fought and did a good job. What do you want to take from this game leading into next week? Well, you know, we got to go to, you know, to the to the Valley and play a, a non-conference game. So we got to make sure and stay focused when we get down there and, and make and treat it like a conference game. And then uh, then we need to hopefully win that game and have some confidence going in uh, to a good UTEP team. But uh, our guys are playing well. They're playing hard and they're doing what they're supposed to do. So uh, wins are going to come with it. And we're excited about the future. What kind of role is Devin Brown playing for the team? And how, how excited is the team to be able to be around someone who was once in their shoes and now went on to bigger things? Well, he's a great guy, and he's doing great things for us without even really doing anything, to be honest with you. Just his presence being around. Uh, you know, he's one of the most famous alumna from, alumnus from uh, UTSA. So uh, any words that he can put into our guys' minds is, is good. He's been around the game and uh, obviously played at a high level for a lot of years, so he knows what it takes, and, and our guys respect that for sure. So we're sure proud to have have him around. Thank you, Coach. Thank you very much. Joining me is Jeremy Hill. Jeremy, that was a tough loss, but tell us a little bit and how you still were able to score 24 points. Uh, you know, just playing as a team right now. Um, my fitness is high, so I'm getting up and down the floor well, um, keeping keeping my concentration and, and finishing shots. So, um, but it's just we're playing as a team now, and there's a lot of opportunities for me to score through our offense. And uh, credit to all the guys for finding me there. Y'all fought all the way down to the last few seconds. Um, tell me what it, the energy was like on the court. Energy is really high. Um, we're finding our full potential right now. Um, we, as I said at the beginning of the year, we're a young team. We've got to find our way. And we're starting to find which five work with which five. And the energy is, is coming as we're, as we're getting closer and closer to beating those top teams. So we're, just, we're getting there, and the end of the year is going to be exciting for us. How excited are you to be top five in scoring and rebounds for UTSA? Uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting, but uh, I'm not going to let that bother me right now. I'm just here uh, enjoying my time playing without any injuries. And, um, you know, wherever I finish up, I finish up. But uh, it's, it's been a blessing to be a part of UTSA, and uh, I look forward to finishing off the year right. Law Tech defeats UTSA 84-72. to For more information, go to GoUTSA.com. For the Rotary Sports Network, I'm Jade Smith.